You're on the Valley's Best Rock, 105.1 The Blaze, 813. E. Curtis Johnson in for Rash. No truth to the rumor that uh, Rash has actually designed, uh, I should say resigned, excuse me, uh, to pursue an occupation as a professional cat acupuncturist. <laughs> I don't know who started that rumor, but it's not true. He will be back on Monday. Uh, speaking of uh, Rash, let's uh, get into, well, actually, it's one of my favorite features that uh, that he does. So here we go. The movie industry is made up of two separate but equally important groups. The theaters who display the movies and the critics who overvalue their opinions. These are our reviews. The Morning Blaze is bringing justice to the movies. And, of course, it wouldn't be a bring justice without justice. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Whoops, I think, uh, whoops, uh-oh, Sorry. Wrong button. There we are. There there we, okay. Go. All right. Take two. Sorry. <laughs> live radio. Oh, yeah. Isn't live radio great? Right. fun. <laughs> All right. So bring justice to the movies. Uh, I believe you're starting. Yeah. Uh, so Dare Home Edition, you asked me to watch uh, History 101 docuseries on Netflix, yep. uh, specifically the nuclear power episode. Yes. Uh, so check that out. I can see why you say it's more propaganda than actual history. It, it does give you background on stuff like that, but it does also clearly only give you pretty much one side of it and I think partially the reason why they do that is because we're kind of at a day and age of people are encouraging people to think on their own so they're giving you basically kind of the negative of it and saying hey you make up your own mind without actually giving you the other side of it because I did watch a couple other episodes and that's kind of kind of the common theme there how it ran. Okay, and and it's okay, and it's okay if you disagree with me. We're still friends. It's all right, <laughs> but uh, I just want to make sure that I that I understood you correctly. But you do see my point that I think that it's somewhat misnamed, in that yes. it, it no, really I, isn't all history. I fully agree. If they had a different name for it, it I think it'd be totally fine. It, it could be called, "Hey, do you agree with this or what?" Gotcha. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Very good. Okay. Uh, in turn. Uh, you gave me the challenge of watching a movie from 2012, I believe, called Looper. Yeah. Which, uh, by the way, I love science fiction. It is my favorite genre. And any science fiction movie that has time travel in it, it's like, dude, I am there. So I, I finished uh, what I was doing here at the station, uh -huh. uh, ran home immediately, <laughs> and found it. Because I was so excited to watch this. All right. It's like, all right, all right. So... Um, in general, I don't know if we're giving ratings here, all right, but I'd give it a, a C minus. Oh wow! A C, and I was I was disappointed. And, and don't take any of this personal, but um, if I had to sum it up, I would say uh, Looper is a mashup of Road Warrior, Back to the Future, and Twelve Monkeys. I've never seen Twelve Monkeys, but I get the Road Warrior and Back to the Future. Yeah, Twelve Monkeys is another Bruce Willis movie that has to do with time travel, and it's it's a really convoluted plot. They, um, you know, it's a dystopian society, end of the world kind of thing. Civilization uh -huh. has collapsed. Uh, they're shifting around in terms of you know what year they're actually in. Uh, very hard to follow, and then it all comes together. Uh, and they jump into the future. They don't know where they're going. Okay. They, you know, they can't go back to the past because it's all destroyed. Yeah. So they're going into the future. So, uh, but I was, uh, I, I, in, in general, I thought it, it um, I thought it was, I thought the sets were poorly produced. Um, I thought, uh, it, I thought it was too violent. Um, uh, sex for really no reason whatsoever other than let's just get let's just give this thing an, an R rating thing um, well, it, but disappointed so uh, uh -oh. Looper no no I'm sorry <laughs> I really thought you were going to enjoy that no it's okay we're uh, we're we're still friends here and it's it's all right not we've right. Uh, we've explored two new things and um, actually we should probably end this with um, and not to get preachy but see, this, this is part of what's wrong with society, in my opinion. It, people can't have disagreements about topics of anything without getting into a fight. It doesn't need to be a fight. It doesn't need to be a fight. No. It doesn't need to you be a fight. your opinion, I have my opinion. Exactly. And we're still friends. We're going back to work. And it's just as simple as that. So uh, you can't see this, but uh, Justice and I are giving ourselves a solid knuckle bump. Yep. Uh, both of us with gloved hands, yes. uh, both of us at least six feet apart, uh, screaming political correctness 
movie industry is made up of two separate but equally important groups. The theaters who display the movies and the critics who overvalue their opinions. These are our reviews.